Welcome back to Las Vegas Now. If you're looking for a quick, easy, and affordable dish to make for dinner, Smith's chef Jeff Jackson has the perfect recipe. Here's a look. Hello, everybody. I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, one of my favorite ingredients at the meat department at your local Smith's is this beef shaved steak. I love this stuff, and it's fairly cheap, and there's a pound of it, but you can make a million things with it. Just think steak and cheese, and that's what I think, and you can use that for this. We're going to make steak and cheese pull-aparts. Really easy, really fun. Let's get right to it. Okay, so what I did earlier is I browned that steak with some uh, onions and garlic and salt and pepper, so that's what I have right here all ready to go for me. And then what I'm going to do to make these pull-aparts is just use regular uh, biscuit dough that you get at the freezer or refrigerator section at your local Smith's. So I, whenever I do this, it's funny because my dog will hear the pop and always run and hide. And I think it surprises me every time too, but yeah, just that little pop always gets them. It's kind of funny. Okay, so there's eight pieces in here. This is going to make 16. So you, now you want to buy the flaky. You need to buy the flaky because there's layers. So we're going to turn these eight pieces into 16 pieces. So if you just grab it right in the middle, separate it like so, you have two pieces. Okay, let's build one. I like to do this in a um, cast iron skillet. It works really good. The size is perfect. So you're going to want to either butter it or oil it or something. Just give it a good grease all the way around, like so. And then let's build one. So what I'm going to do is take some cheese. This is American cheese that I've sliced into four. So get nice slices like that. Just put a slice of that onto each one of these. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. And then take some of our steak mixture, put on top like so and then we're just gonna fold the dough right around it almost like you're making a dumpling or something like that but you just wrap it around there pinch it into a nice lovely little roll like so do it like that and I'll do it again now 16 will fit in a 10 inch cast iron pan perfectly so you just do this with all 16 you may end up with a little bit extra filling but what's the harm in that right so we make all of our 16 rolls that's what I have right here and so what I do at this point is then I would just take and brush butter on the whole thing like so. One of the things I really love too and it's popular these, these days is everything bagel spice. You can find this in the, the spice aisle at your local Smith's. Just sprinkle some of that on there. Have your oven preheating to um, 450. No, it's 375. It's not so hot. So let's get this in the oven. Let's see the one that I finished. See how we did. So in goes that. Out comes our done one, and that looks awesome. Look at that. Our steak and cheese pull-aparts. Let me put it on the plate like that. Maybe sprinkle some more butter on there at the end. But that is it, guys. Super easy. Um, I'm not going to open it up because uh, I want it to be a surprise. My guests think it'll be a roll, but it's a steak and cheese roll. Super delicious, super easy. Of course, you can find all these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for shopping. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. That's my kind of food right there, I'm telling you. To get the full recipe and for more information, you can visit smithsfoodanddrug.com.